What's going on, Sith friends? Welcome to Arnold News for the regular player. All right, the topic, you see the thumbnail, Bo-Katan and Darth Bane coming to the game. What does everyone think about that? I enjoy both Mandalore and Darth Bane. So to me, you know, being a regular player, when new tunes come to the game, I'm like, oh, that is awesome. But then I'm like, oh, is that really? Because we all have a grind going on. If you're mainly free to play, you know, I do spend a little bit of money in the game, but I don't chase the meta. I buy like what I want to buy. And it's just difficult because people who do pay to play, I get a good buddy nemesis who already has the brand new Jedi. And he's probably going to buy these tunes as well, just like Honor will. But regular players like us, you know, what I want to say, and my advice is, you know, take it like a grain of salt. I've been watching Arnold for a very long time. He is amazing. You know, his shows get me so hype. I want to drop everything I'm going for and go for that tune. But I would say just wait, be patient, because we can't build tunes like this right off the bat if we can't spend money. So, you know, like I said, take, a, take it like a grain of salt, you know, be patient, wait for him to get the tune when it comes out, see what he can beat with it. Now, of course, if it's not beating Galactic Legends, I don't let us know if it's, not, if it's good or not. So I'm going to wait for that and then, you know, slowly maybe go for that tune. You guys know you should always, always be working on kind of like two things at one time, you know, a Galactic Legend and some other great team. All right, so let's get into a little bit of this video. I'm not going to watch the whole thing. Everybody's, I'm pretty sure, already watched this video. I want to know what everyone thinks. You know, comment below, you know, who is your favorite? Who are you going to go for first? And let me know what you guys think if you are a regular player. All right, let's watch the beginning. Oh, hello there. I didn't know if you noticed. I'm practicing my Bo Katan, sit in the throne, and wait till someone gives me what I want. I'm thinking I'm gonna take her philosophy <laughs> when it comes to the data I'm just gonna look pretty in a chair and hope that CG eventually gives into my whining and stops using data crimes. <laughs> See, pause it right there. See, people like Arnold, I know a lot of great people, you know, that are at high levels of Kyber 1, they're not using Datacrons. I've heard from some people that they're kind of like, you know, whining to Capital Games. But to me, they don't need the Datacrons. They have all the squads. So to people like us, like me, like you, that if you watch my channel, you're probably coming up through the levels just like I am. Datacrons are essential. You must build them. They are for people like us. We are always severely undermanned. We can't go out and buy everything. We have to slowly build up teams. So you definitely make sure you work on your Datacrons. I'll kind of fast forward through points. I know he talks about the Datacron. All right, let's keep going. Let's see here. Oh, this is exciting. I look at this. I do think that's a fun. pretty cool picture right there. That's pretty cool. It's hard to get really excited. So, see how he's saying it beats Jedi Master Kenobi? Like, you know, all of us regular players, like, I only have two Galactic Legends. I have Jedi Master Kenobi and I have Sith Eternal. It took me so long to get Jedi Master Kenobi, and now things like Bo Katan are coming out. You know, you've got Reva that can beat it. You've got Jedi Master Kenobi that can beat it. You know, there's so many things like that are beating Jedi Master Kenobi right now. So as I tell you guys, when you climb up through the ranks, you can't put any Galactic Legends on defense. You have to save them for offense. Excited about this character. Right. Anyways, regarding this character, reminder, this is going to be an epic confrontation character. Epic confrontation. My speculation is it's going to maybe come out tomorrow. Looking at Dr. Aphra, where she was added to the game on December 14th. That's when the update happened. And on the same day as the update, unlike Marquee characters, we got to like wait another day. Usually the event drops the same day. So December 14th was a Wednesday last year. So again, complete speculation. Okay. My thing, my thought is uh, I think tomorrow we're probably going to get Boca to unlock. So stay tuned for that. And remember, we were promised that the uh, Boca Tan team is supposed to go up the toe to toe with some Galactic Legends. And at That's least from what what I, the way it reads is good. I think this could be massive. Could be, again, cool, but it's really hard to, <laughs> the, the shine when Bane is up staging you here. Uh, I know. He talks a lot about Bane. So, yes, I can't wait to see what Arnold does with Bo Katan. You know, I thought it was going to be like Dr. Afro, where you have to just relic four tunes to R5. Tunes like that are great, like especially Dr. Afro. You just got to relic four tunes. And then Cal Kessis, I think um, they're just gear 12. And then SK, you only need four tunes as well. Tunes like that are great to go after. But if she's going to be in the event where you'll get her at like three stars, you got to pay to play for her. 
that would be a long, long grind. Like, Arnold's going to get this tune right away. Regular players like me and you, it could be a year before we even get Bo-Katan, especially if you're not spending any money on her. These are hard to do, but I do love watching the videos Arnold puts out. It just gets me hyped for what I can go for. But like I said, it's a slow, slow grind. So we'll fast forward a bit more. So he's basically just talking about like all the damage that they can do is going to be insane. All the defense they get is going to be insane. He talks about pulling Beskar Mando away from uh, Fennec for Lord Vader counter. You know, if this can beat Lord Vader, I would definitely go for it. You guys know I was just talking about a four Mandalore team. I was talking to my great buddy Andotesh Ordo because he does have um, some very good Mandalore. You know, this is going to be a good team. You know, Grogu. You know, we're so hard to get Grogu. He's all, he's not, you know, two shards yet. To find this character, I don't think he's even farmable yet. See, I don't even look for that. Okay? So he's not even farmable yet. So we don't have the crystals to buy Grogu. So like I said, guys, this is an amazing video. I'm excited. Anytime more tunes come to the game, I'm excited. It brings more people to start playing Star Wars Galaxy for years. You guys know I love this game. So I think it's really cool. But like I said, I don't even have IG-12 and Grogu. You can't be using Bo-Katan by herself. And then you've got Paz, Vlizla. I hear it's just, just so nasty in the game. I've seen Arnold go against it. I've seen Arnold use it. So definitely good, good squad. Original uh, Bo-Katan, maybe even armor. Uh, for the you know the fifth being, I think Mandalore is going to be the lead. So definitely a good team that was in my future squads. I just talked about it. So I think it's going to be cool. I, I, I want a team for Mandalore. And if this can be amazing, then I'm definitely going to build it. But slowly, you know, build this team right here. Favorite what's needed. Kind of slowly start going for it. All right, back to the video a little bit kind of baked in here I, I, it kind of feels like it might be fennec ish for fennec just does tons and tons and tons of damage on her base ability if they're gonna maybe turn this into a lord vader counter potentially again pure speculation That's awesome. they want to make sure she's dealing out that type of damage all right moving on though reinforcements have arrived cool down of four okay talks about a lot of the damage that's pretty cool so i'm just gonna fast forward like i said i'm gonna do the darth vane bane one as well all right, he does talk about the other tunes that are going to go with them. See, this, all the defense, defense it's going to be insane. Light side <laughs> Potential 800 to 1,000. starting off the battle. She could have 800% defense. Wow. 800. 800. I don't know if Mo I can even count that high. That's a lot of numbers. 800 <laughs> plus all the that. The Grand so Emperor. She can have 1,000 percent defense see that is insane all the you know all the early tunes you know your jkr's gas cls stuff like that you know their kits are kind of simple it's not too crazy but i feel like anyone new that's coming out nowadays it's like you got to read you guys can let me know in the comment section it's like you got to read the abilities like two or three times and be like scratch your head like what how what what how's that working like i feel like anyone new nowadays has the the weirdest nastiest craziest kit so they have that much defense. You know, I, I, I mean, do I put this on defense? You guys know me. I build things just to put it on defense because I, I want to do what the f I want to do and just beat people with double I have. I mean, Kyber two with only two GLs. You know what I mean? So it's like, yes, I love defensive teams. That's gonna be insane. So it's like, these are teams that we have to be on our radar. But ah, oh, we're just so far away from your free to play player. Holy cow. Yes, holy uh, cow. I have a hard time knowing she a tank, she supports, she attacks. She's <laughs> yeah, right. got incredible detail, but she's this got tank funny. attributes. Maybe she's just everything. Maybe that's why I didn't give it. She's got some support so she can cleanse. And then she's got this big damn so she's an attacker, but she's also really <laughs> terrible. So she's kind of like a tank. I don't know. So that was pretty big. But we're not done yet. Inside a grand I swear to God, Anil is the funniest person on st I swear. He I love Anil. He's awesome. Oh man. All right, let's kind of fast forward and get to oh my goodness like i said comment below guys let me know your thoughts you guys know i love star wars galaxy here's banter he talks about this is where i stopped right here i'm talking to about best car mando like best i said Armor Mandalorian. i used to just dump everything i'm working on and, and go for exactly what arnold said so he talked about best car Mando. he was so excited when he was coming into the game he's gonna be better than regular mando and i just dropped everything went for best car spent money on him i think i spent like $40 to get the pack to get like 25 shards of him. It was ridiculous. And 
he's hot trash in the game. Like, I don't use him for the Fennec Shan counter to Lord Vader, but to me, he's hot trash. He just sits on the bench. I don't even use him as lead. I use Dash with Queel in IG-11. So the fact that it's going to make Tickling Birds so much better, I am so excited to see uh, Arnold's video on it. I'm going to do another Arnold news over that show and just be give my reactions. It's going to be amazing. But definitely, he talks about how it's going to make Beskar Mando better. Okay, how he talks about how this is for scoundrel only. So that's kind of weird. And then talks about Paz Vizsla. You know, like, come on. Watching Arnold do Paz Vizsla is amazing. But just, I, I kind of try not to watch those kind of things, you know, because it just, it's out of my scope. You know, come on, this, we are the regular player. You know, yes, it's so cool. Like, I want to go for it, but... The grind is ridiculous in Star Wars Galaxies. You do not spend money. So I try not to watch stuff that I, I can't achieve so quickly. All right, so he talks about Paz uh, You know, IG-12 and Grogu. Like I said, he already has it R7. Fast, but with the 30X speed, we can get big. Like, I think it's the cutest thing. Look at, look at Grogu. Like, I, I got to get this because of Grogu. I got to get it. So I'm definitely going to build this team. I am going to start favoring, like I showed you guys. You know, you have your future squads. Okay, so look like, okay, so definitely for sure best Armando. Only got 50 shards of Grogu. So those are gonna be slow, slow farms after my unaligned force user squad. You know, that's what I'm working on now is unaligned force user. I favor to that just because we gotta make our teams better. And I, I gotta make that better. You know, we're not pay to play. Like my great buddy Nemesis already has this dude at seven stars, like relic eight or something like that, because he's a pay to play player. We can't do things like that. This right here, this grind is ridiculous. Oh goodness, gotta show you guys something. Boom, I'm ready to go. I am ready for Vader. I am now just farming GL tickets, which is the most insane thing. So, sorry to get off topic, but anything that pack that comes out that's, you know, Relic Tunes, you got to do it. You just got to do it. It's so insane. I just finished relicking um, the, sa the Samurai Japanese Bounty Hunter guy, Embo, and it was ridiculous. It took me days to get him to R5. All right, all right. Back to the video. Okay, let's go here. Let's kind of finish up here. Excited about this character. Maybe not as much. I'm excited as too. I just said forget about him. But still, I, I'm really excited to see. And I think it's obvious, at least to me, this should be a good Kenobi counter. Even though Kenobi's see, already See, Kenobi, has it's crazy. See, so right here. Many counters. This year has not been a good year it's for not. Kenobi. With Reva and then Leia and a uh, couple other things in between here. Yeah, I still got to find a counter for Leia. I'm facing her for Grand Arena. And I think Bo-Katan's going to continue that trend. And I think it's also going to be helpful against other things like Lord Vader. And it makes sense because if we're taking away Beskar Mando, people are going to have a hesitant time giving this over to, you know, Bo. Yeah, I don't use, use Fennec. To be Fennec. I don't even have Fennec, so that's good. So again, my guess is my theory tomorrow with the update dropping, I'm assuming the epic confrontation event will be in play. So stay tuned. Man, uh, it's a big week. Definitely at first we have two massive kit reveals within moments. Of one another. I'm not even gonna That's ask insane. You, you like more. It's probably oh, gonna be it's so but I think they're both gonna be amazing, and I can't wait to get my hands on both tomorrow. And unfortunately, we gotta wait a couple more months before. Thanks, Arnold. Love you. Within our grasp. <laughs> Leave that like, comment down below, subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And as always, it's great to be in the Empire. His today. song. <laughs> All right, let's get a Darth Bane. So I didn't watch the Darth Bane one yet. Arnold doesn't need us to watch his commercials. All right. Look right there. It just gets you hype. Oh. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching Arnold Holla Net News. Oh, baby. It's the only You're watching Arnold News for the regular player with your host, Darth Kimchi. <laughs> News you'll ever need because you have no other choice. And it is with great honor, great privilege that we're going to be talking about the Darth Bane kit reveal oh, for Star Wars. so yeah, insane. Like we got not just one, but two kit reveals. We're going to talk about Darth Bane here, wow. and then whenever Gary finally finishes it, we're going to talk about Bo-Katan. <laughs> that kit reveal is also going to be released today. Listen, guys, one of my favorite things about Star Wars Galaxy, I mean, the favorite thing, I think a lot of us can agree, is seeing new characters yes. come to the game yes. and seeing the, the, the stories we've seen on screen kind of come to life in a pocket, you know, pocket collector format yes. type of thing. I get excited every new character is what I'm trying to say. I you do know, too. To a degree. You know, so, okay, cool. So I'm really excited. This kit, when I was reading through it, digesting it, I was smiling the whole entire time. Awesome. This kit reveal looks to be 
a ton of fun and i'll comment it below let me know what importantly. you guys think an amazing sith eternal lifter it seems like of course we're gonna have to he wait just and see looks when it so gets cool unlocked. and how are we gonna unlock this brief reminder so it's gonna be the next conquest next conquest Ooh. starts next week and three conquest wow. cycles okay. later on this week we should know that the feats and all that jazz how this is gonna work out this is gonna be the first conquest wow. i'm actually gonna try to push on my free-to-play account okay so pause right there so you guys know that I preach. Like I said, it depends on where you are on your Star Wars Galaxy Heroes grind. If you're watching my channel, you're not a big dog. You're a good player like me coming up through the levels. You know, you love the game, but you're mostly mostly free to play. This is going to take years. I am 100 shards away from Tehran Malakos. I did that to make sure I'm exactly 100 shards away. This is going to take a long time. Probably another six months, if not oh, more. It's going to be insane because we can't get the red crates. You know, if you get in the red crate, your datacrons are suffering. You know, the datacron, this one here sucked. It was really bad. The side stats were terrible. You know, great things for the, for the actual tunes. But, you know, so maybe if the datacron sucks, if it's still the same one, I'll probably go all in and try to at least get the gold crate. You know, it's very hard to do all these feats. You know, win 30 battles with... Gear 8, ten, it's not one of them, but it kind of feels like it. You know, win 8 battles with, you know, Phoenix Squad. Well, Captain Rex now would probably be a little easier. But, you know what I mean? It's, it's the stupidest uh, um, side quest. So, uh, that is terrible to hear. You know, people who buy the Conquest Pass, you know, if you're rich out there, you can donate to your boy. Man, help me buy the Conquest Pass. I want to get Darth, Darth Bane as well. But, that is, that is bad to hear. That's really bad to hear. Ooh, let's get into it guys i don't want to keep you in any more suspense this looks great leader attacker said yes. let's just read the key attributes before we get into it for you guys a little overview here utilizing the rule of two oh my gosh has wow. strong synergy with sith eternal emperor oh, with mechanics goodness. that encourage just using two characters i wow. don't see bane being i mean he could maybe work on defense but you're gonna miss a ton of viability if he's put on defense it's unfortunate you can't just put two characters down on defense uh, that would be different yes. so i think the reason why this looks so good because it seems like it's going to be an exclusive powerhouse offensive tool for a sith eternal can take high relic wayward sith to make competitive squad as leader leadership looks very interesting if you if don't have take it out later so you gotta get it can siphon max health from enemies to gain it himself fueling both his synergy offensively and defensively wow so let's just go straight into the abilities right here this might be one of the most powerful <sighs> that's basic awesome. abilities that exist out there soul wow. center zeta okay let's show you what we got here buckle in ladies and gentlemen because this roller coaster <laughs> is about to get wild uh, so first off, awesome. deal physical damage to target enemy reduce their offense by 20 percent stacking Jesus. on a basic ability and Bane gains 20% wow. offense stacking, which can't be resisted. That's awesome. Resisted. That's gold. Wow. That is See, right there, a man. <laughs> of offense uh, de-ramping that we have just on the basic level. But we're not done yet. On a critical hit, he's going to gain two siphon until the end of the encounter. If this attack deals uh, defeats an enemy, he gains an additional two siphons. And if the target is above 50 percent health this, this attack will critically hit if able to so as long as there's not like you know critical damage immunity if they are below 50 percent health this attack deals 200 percent more damage can you imagine you know he's wrapping up his offense by 20 percent each time and then he so already talked about that any new tune that comes out their kit is just insane it's just oh my goodness it just makes all older tunes just i don't want to say garbage but it's like why why would you not drop ship and just go for these teams like i said if you're a free-to-play player conquest tunes to, like i haven't even gotten um new moff gideon yet you know I mean, calm down you know what i mean it's like we're not pay to play you know my buddy nemesis already has you know moff gideon already has a new team it's just it's just where are you at in your grind like, if you're watching my channel we're not pay to play players we enjoy the game we love Arnold, but you know it's like oh, my goodness that's gonna be an insane kit he deals 200% more damage. It makes sense. Why? Let's go to the next ability. All right. Now, interesting enough, the Omicrons are going to all be on his other abilities except his leadership ability. So I'm not expecting the leadership to be nutty. He's going to just kind of lead? first most of the Conquest characters that we've gotten that have leaders. They all have leadership Omicrons, you know, Gideon, you know, uh, what else? Boba Fett, Sign of Django, those type of things. This is going to be a first where we have a lead. 
It's just not gonna have an Omicron. Okay, excluding Maul and Commander Tano. You, you, you know what I'm talking about. You know, the, the recent Cockers. Anyways, Malevolent Whirlwind. It's gonna have an Omicron cooldown of three. Wow. Now, this is pretty wild. Dispel all buffs on enemies twice. Wow. I, I have a couple of thoughts what that might be in reference to. Then deal physical damage to all enemies twice. Wow. Jeez. Dealing 10% more damage for each buff dispelled. And inflict healing immunity for two turns. Now, note, I am um, not saying anything that says this can't be, you know, resisted, you know, evaded, all that stuff. So it looks like it still could be evaded. What this means to me, this is like the next Darth Malgus on defense. This is exactly what it is. Darth Malgus is ridiculous. I am like three shards away from Darth Malgus. Everyone has him already. He's been having him for so long. This reminds me of another, we could just see Darth Bane on defense and just be in trouble with now everyone saying Sith Eternal has been the hottest trash on defense since, you know, no one uses, anyone that's, you know, has good game knowledge does not use Sith Eternal on defense. And now you're going to proceed to Sith Eternal on defense with Darth Bane? This is going to be ridiculous. Oh my goodness. But I have an idea what this might be referring to up here. If the ally in the leader slot is Sith Eternal Emperor... That's where we start seeing the, the good stuff with the Gooch man. He gains 1% all to charge for each enemy that was dealt damage with Deceived or Linked. So that means it could be Deceived you know, and wow. Linked, I'm assuming. Kind of like you double dip, like Vader's unique ability double dips if you're a Sith or Empire. And Palpatine kind of double dips. So wow. it might be double dipping. And then Bane gains 5 Siphon until the end of the encounter. And has a whopping 200% health steal. Uh, assuming wow. he's going to do a lot of damage, Two. that sounds like a nice chunk of health steal right there. And you get a Datacron uh, with an extra 100. Arena, so remember, oh this is going to be an Omicron design character around Grand Arena, which I think most of us kind of enjoy those more than the Territory War Conquest wow. characters. Uh, while in Grand Arena's additional 3% ultra charge gained against Deceived wow. or Linked enemies, then Bane gains an additional 5 stacks of Siphon. So, all right, a couple things I want to digest with you guys here. Number one. What I think this might be in reference to, the spell buffs on, on all enemies twice. So what I'm guessing is maybe the first round gets rid of the foresight, you know? It yes, misses. and then the taunt. And then he does a second round, hitting the buffs that were hiding behind the foresight. I think that might be primarily what we're looking at, especially like, for example, Master Kirby might have a lot of foresight on his team potential. So yank that off and then do it one more time to get the buffs off that are there. <laughs> Other instances might... And then what sucks is that it says and inflict healing immunity for two turns. It doesn't say anything about can't be resisted. You know, I'm thinking about Wampa. Might be uh, teams that, you know, after the first hit, they might gain some sort of buff. Well, he could yeah. just, you know, knock those buffs off the second time around. So this That's is- That's gonna uh, be interesting. I think this might be a first, a like a two layered buff yeah. to spell. Usually everything's just, you know, one level above the spell. So it, this is gonna be quite interesting. Like I think, old Ben I mean, I really taunting the, twice. The, the former that I said. Get rid of the forest site. You take that old way Ben's you make sure you inflict the taunt away. He taunts again. So even though this, this doesn't say, you know, it can't be evaded or resisted, I think that's why yes. it basically does two rounds. Because you can yes. clear off evasion, clear off tenacity, can't be evaded or foresight, resisted. I should say, and tenacity, and get that healing immunity on. So, again, pretty wild tools we have here. And one of the problems is set the turtle faster. All right. Now, guys, I just want to let you know, we aren't done yet. We got wow. a special number two. Essence of dominance. Wow. He's... Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. He looks awesome. Omicron yet again on this ability here because again, I think he's primarily designed to be a Sith Eternal. So they, they don't want to maybe incentivize you too much with his leadership ability, but they want to give you something to go with it. So here we go. Deal physical damage to all enemies based on Bane's wow. max health. We got to wait and see what the health is going to look like, but wow. obviously there's ways for him to increase his health. So this data cron wise as well. Increase their cooldowns by one. So kind of like a Darth Nihilus. Like wow. Don't need to respond to that. Like ability, you know, you can, I, you know, I can kind of see the little inspiration with, you know, it kind of looks like a Darth. All right, let's fast forward a little bit. Sith eternal synergies we got cooking here. And Cypher. See, it's like, I don't even need to look at it. Like, okay, I'm just going to fast forward a lot. <laughs> I don't even want to look at it. Oh, I need to watch commercial. Anyway. All of you are awesome, but you don't even look at it. See, you know, when I read days, maybe okay, so this is what I, for the regular player like me, like, yeah, it's so fantastic to look through all this. Like, I, this, I haven't watched this video. I watched the Mandalore video. It's just like... I want to stay away from this. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to read that. I want to stay away from him because it'll be a year before I get him. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I don't want to make this video too long. I know everyone's already watched the video. 
Let's see what he says Start here. Start a battle, Bane gains 100% turn meter. <sighs> what? So uh, let me just say, let me just say. <laughs> see, I told I you. You need to see how this works. I mean, I I'm, told again, you. this could be mostly an office. But if I'm understanding this correctly, Bane could potentially just turn one. Boom. Increase enemy cooldowns by two. Wow. Turn wow. One. Turn one. Dang. And how is he not a galactic legend? Uh, just persist. my Even goodness. Is defeated. Wow. Yeah. Like yeah, his kit's I, I almost better than Lord Vader's. Like his kit's there, better than some some clear. galactic legend. This is a lot of great wow. firepower. The start of, it's almost like kind of like a Dr. Afra. In wow, a way, starting yep. battle, hundred percent terminator. Of yep. course, you can't get terminator against Kenobi. So, but but against other things, you know, Lord Vader or you know whatever the case might be. Wow, it's basically a Sith Eternal Afra. It's so many things. It's a Wat Tambor. It's an Afra. It's all these other things. Wow. Kind of like a mini Supreme Leader Kyran baked into a, this this. A all right, I'm just fast forwarding. Just fast forwarding. I want the video to be too long. Let's see what he says at the end. It's something we're gonna find out in three more conquest cycles. And what was the, uh, the what were the developers' intentions? That's gonna be kind of the third branch of it all. You know, sometimes something doesn't work as intended. Sometimes, you know, they gotta fix it, add some stuff to it. I, um, it's just, this is one of those characters where I'm just extremely excited about. Yeah. I'm gonna try Otto to will get him quickly. Play Conquest, so stay tuned. We're gonna take a look at the feats when they get datamined later on this week to get you ready. The Conquest will be starting on next Monday. Now you have this upcoming Monday. Whoa, jeez. No, Gary, no, Gary, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right that's gonna wrap it up i guess ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for stopping by hopefully you're excited for bane stay tuned for bo katan's wow. can reveal later on but until we meet again always remember that it's great to be in the empire today oh that's awesome all right guys i hope you enjoyed this Arnold news show like for the regular player like i said guys you know i didn't really want to i saw the whole bo -Katan. like i i didn't want to see the darth bane kid it's just insane you know conquest it's gonna take us such a long time to achieve bane i guess why his kid is just so disgusting but like i said um you know, always stay your grind. You know, maybe just favorite what you think is going to go well with Bane, like how I did with my um, Mandalore squad right here. You know, your future squads. Let's see here. What happened to it? What happened to it? Where did I just put it at? There it is right there for Mandalore. You know, it's like we're so far like, yes, that video is awesome to see um bo katan but bro i don't even have ig12 and grogu i don't even have paz blizzla you know that's a good thing that darth bane with uh sith eternal is gonna be amazing with your sith tunes all right guys more shows like this to come i love Anna Arnold, the grand emperor you know it's where i get all my news from but i want to give my take on the regular player you know and i want to know what you guys think as well you know comment below as if you're a regular player what does this mean to you yes we're totally excited i can't wait for both tunes to come to the game but to me it's just another thing you got to start grinding for that's what it comes down to is how many teams that are really good that you can build as quick as you possibly can all right guys darth kimchi signing out always respect the grind keep on sitting